Judy Karn, an influential figure in the entertainment industry, left an indelible impact on the world of television and comedy. Born in Northampton, England, Karn rose to prominence in the 1960s as a regular cast member on the groundbreaking sketch comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. With her infectious energy and comedic timing, Karn quickly became a fan favorite, earning her the nickname The Squirrel for her ability to scamper in and out of scenes with lightning speed. Karn's signature bit on Laugh-In was the socket to me gag, where she would be doused with water or covered in various substances after uttering the phrase. The bit became a cultural phenomenon, solidifying Karn's status as a household name. Beyond her work on Laugh-In, Karn appeared in numerous TV shows and films throughout her career, including The Man from UNCLE, Love American Style, and Fantasy Island. She also starred in her own variety show, The Judy Karn Show, in 1969. Despite facing personal struggles, including a highly publicized battle with addiction, Karn remained a trailblazer for women in comedy and a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to television and comedy continue to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to her enduring talent and impact. Judy Karn was a beloved actress, best known for her work on the hit TV show Laughing. She was a trailblazer for women in comedy and had a significant impact on the entertainment industry. Do you have a personal story about how Judy Karn has inspired or impacted your life? Or perhaps you know of a lesser known fact or anecdote about her that fascinates you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Many people have cherished memories of watching Judy Karn on laugh In and the lasting impression she left on them. Throughout her career, she faced many challenges and obstacles, but always persevered. There are many funny, shocking, and even sad facts about her life that we'll share with you in this video. So, keep watching to learn more about this classic star. Judy Carn, born Joyce Audrey Botterill in Northampton, England, had a modest upbringing. Her father worked as a laborer, and her mother as a seamstress. From a young age, Carn was drawn to the world of entertainment. She began performing in local theater productions and quickly discovered her passion for acting. Karn's big break came when she was cast in the British television series, The Army Game. This exposure led to further opportunities in television and film and Karn eventually made her way to the United States. Once in America, Karn's career took off. She became a regular on the popular comedy show, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, where she was known for her catchphrase, socket to me. Karn's comedic timing and charisma made her a fan favorite. Throughout her career, Karn worked with many notable figures in the entertainment industry. One of her mentors was the legendary comedian Bob Hope, who took Karn under his wing and helped her navigate the world of show business. Karn's early exposure to theater and her relationships with experienced mentors like Bob Hope played a significant role in shaping her career. Her natural talent, combined with her determination and hard work, helped her become a successful actress and comedian in her own right. Judy Karn was a significant actress in the film industry during her era and beyond. She was best known for her work on the hit TV show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In in the late 1960s, where she popularized the phrase socket to me. Karn's impact on the industry went beyond just her on-screen presence. She was one of the first female stars to break the mold of the traditional female role in comedy, paving the way for future generations of female comedians. Karn's contribution to Hollywood included her work in both film and television. She appeared in numerous movies, including Gidget Goes to Rome and Scorchy, and made guest appearances on popular shows such as The Munsters and The Man from UNCLE. She also starred in her own TV series, The Judy Karn Show, in the early 1960s. Karn's influence on the film industry was not limited to her acting abilities. She was also known for her advocacy for mental health awareness, speaking openly about her own struggles with addiction and depression. Her willingness to share her story helped to break down stigmas surrounding mental health and inspired others to seek help. In addition to her work in entertainment and mental health advocacy, Karn was also a trailblazer for women's rights. She was one of the first women to speak out against sexual harassment in the workplace long before the hash media movement brought the issue to the forefront of public conversation. Overall, Judy Karn's impact on the film industry and beyond cannot be overstated. Her contributions to Hollywood, mental health advocacy, 
and women's rights have left a lasting legacy that continues to resonate today. Judy Carn, born Joyce Botterill, discovered her passion for performing at a young age. Raised in a small village in England, she was an energetic and imaginative child who loved to put on shows for her family and neighbors. She would often gather her friends together and they would put on plays, with Judy always taking the lead role. When she was 11 years old, Judy's family moved to Northampton, where she attended a convent school. It was there that she first began to take acting seriously. She joined the school's drama club and quickly became a star player in all of their productions. She also started taking dance lessons and soon became an accomplished dancer. Judy's big break came when she was 17 years old. She was discovered by a talent scout while performing in a local production of The Boyfriend. The scout was impressed by her talent and offered her a contract with the famous J. Arthur Rank organization. Judy's parents were hesitant at first, but they eventually agreed to let her move to London to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. She quickly landed a role in a West End production of Bell, Book, and Candle, and her career took off from there. Judy's passion for performing was fueled by her love of making people laugh and her desire to entertain. She once said in an interview, I love making people laugh. It's the best feeling in the world. She also loved the challenge of taking on different roles and becoming different characters. She once said, I love the process of becoming someone else. It's like putting on a new coat and stepping into a new world. Throughout her career, Judy Karn has brought joy and laughter to millions of people. She will always be remembered for her talent, her energy, and her passion for performing. Judy Karn's dance career took off when she was just four years old, winning every competition she entered. Her talent and determination led her to become a regular performer on the popular television show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. In a casting decision that would change the course of her career, Karn was chosen as one of the Socket to Me girls over other starlets such as Lola Falana and Cheryl. Karn's acting career also included a role in the film The Americanization of Emily, where she played the second nameless broad. Her co-star, Alan Seuss, also appeared on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In as Petty Officer and Wright. Karn's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, with her legacy living on through her groundbreaking work on Laugh-In and her memorable performances in film and television. Her talent and dedication to her craft have left a lasting impression on audiences and industry professionals alike. Judy Karn, born Joyce Audrey Botterill, faced many challenges on her journey to becoming a successful actress. Raised in a small village in England, Karn's family struggled financially. Despite these hardships, she discovered her passion for performing at a young age and was determined to make a career out of it. Karn's journey to America where she would eventually find success was not an easy one. She faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her talent and potential. However, Garn remained resilient and persistent. She took on various jobs to support herself, including working as a model and a dancer, while also pursuing acting opportunities. One of the creative solutions Karn found to overcome these obstacles was to perform in small clubs and venues. This allowed her to gain experience and exposure, eventually leading to bigger opportunities. She also took acting classes to improve her skills and expand her range. Karn's hard work and determination paid off when she was cast in the popular television show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Her talent and charisma shone through, and she quickly became a fan favorite. Karn's success in the entertainment industry is a testament to her resilience and determination in overcoming the challenges she faced early on. In 1978, Judy Karn was in a severe car accident with her second husband, which left her with a broken neck. She had to wear a steel halo for five months, which immobilized her head. Ten years later, in April 1986, Karn was found in possession of cocaine, leading to a three-month prison sentence. Despite these challenges, Karn continued to work in the film industry. For instance, she was offered a part in Clint Eastwood's film, Pale Rider, in 1985, but she had to decline due to her commitment to a Danish film. These incidents highlight the challenges Karn faced in her personal and professional life. Judy Karn's breakthrough moment came when she appeared on the British comedy show The Benny Hill Show in the 1960s. Her performance caught the attention of American television producers 
leading her to move to the United States and join the cast of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a groundbreaking and popular TV series. Her catchphrase, Sock It To Me, became a cultural phenomenon and earned her nationwide recognition. In addition to her successful acting career, Judy Karn also made significant contributions to the entertainment industry as a pioneer in comedic television. Her performances on The Benny Hill Show and Rowan and Martin's Laugh and helped pave the way for future comedic actresses and led to her being inducted into the Television Academy's Hall of Fame. Judy Karn, born Joyce Botterill, was the daughter of Kath and Harold Botterill. She discovered her passion for performing arts at a young age when she began dancing at her aunt's dancing school. When she was just six years old, she performed in a local concert, which earned her the encouragement and support of her parents to pursue a career in dance. Impressed by her natural talent, Judy's parents later enrolled her in the prestigious Pitt Draffin Academy of Dance. This marked the beginning of her formal training in dance, which would eventually lead her to become one of the most celebrated actresses of her time. Judy's early performances in local concerts and her subsequent training at the Pitt Draffin Academy of Dance laid the foundation for her successful career in the entertainment industry. Her parents played a crucial role in nurturing her talent and supporting her dreams, which ultimately helped her become the accomplished actress that she was. Judy Karn was a notable actress, best known for her work on the hit TV show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. She had a unique approach to her acting, often using her own experiences and emotions to bring depth to her characters. Karn was known for her ability to make audiences laugh, but she also had a knack for conveying complex emotions with subtlety and grace. Her colleagues often spoke of Karn's infectious energy and her ability to bring a sense of joy and playfulness to every project she worked on. Despite facing personal and professional challenges throughout her career, Karn remained committed to her craft and continued to push herself as an artist. Karn's worldview was shaped by her experiences growing up in England during World War II. She often spoke of the profound impact that the war had on her and her family and how it informed her perspective on life and art. This sense of resilience and determination was evident in her work as she tackled challenging roles with grace and determination. One of the things that made Karn's style unique was her ability to balance humor and drama. She could seamlessly transition from lighthearted comedy to more serious, introspective moments. This gave her work a sense of depth and complexity that was rare for comedic actresses of her time. Despite facing many challenges throughout her career, Karn remained committed to her artistic vision and continued to push boundaries as an actress. Her work remains an enduring testament to her talent and her dedication to her craft. Judy Karn had a significant start in her acting career when she was accepted to the Bush Davies Theatrical School for Girls at the age of nine. It was there that she was given the name Judy by an instructor who felt that Joyce wasn't a suitable professional name. By the time she was 16, she had adopted the stage name Judy Karn, which was derived from a character in the play Sister Bonaventure. Karn wrote her autobiography, laughing on the outside, crying on the inside, giving readers a glimpse into her life and experiences. At the time of writing, she was living in her birth town of Northampton, England in 2001. Judy Karn's contributions to the acting world were concise and impactful, leaving a mark that resonated with many. Despite not using elaborate language or flowery phrases, she made a significant impact in the industry and will be remembered for her work. Judy Karn was a significant figure in the entertainment industry, particularly during the 1960s and 1970s. She was best known for her work on the hit television show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, where she popularized the phrase Sock It To Me. Karn's comedic timing and physical comedy skills made her a fan favorite and helped make the show a success. Karn's influence can still be seen today in the world of comedy and entertainment. Her willingness to take risks and push boundaries helped pave the way for future female comedians. As actress and comedian Lily Tomlin, who also appeared on Laugh-In, said, Judy was a real trailblazer. She wasn't afraid to be silly and make fun of herself, which was still relatively rare for women on television at the time. Karn's impact also extended beyond comedy. She was a pioneer in the use of improvisation and sketch comedy which have since become staples of modern television and stage productions. Her ability to quickly switch between characters and deliver sharp, witty lines with precision 
and timing was truly impressive. Despite her success, Karn's career was ultimately cut short due to personal struggles with addiction. However, her contributions to the entertainment industry and her influence on future generations of comedians and performers cannot be overstated. As writer and producer Paul Witt, who worked with Karn on laugh -In, said, Judy had a unique talent and a spark that was impossible to ignore. She may not have had the longest career, but her impact was significant and enduring. Judy Carnes' marriage to Burke Reynolds in 1963 was short-lived, lasting only two years. Despite the brief union, Reynolds supported Carn in later years when she faced financial difficulties due to drug problems. Carn made two appearances on the TV show I Dream of Jeannie, once as a character and once as herself. After two seasons on Laugh-In, Carn left the show, causing producer George Schlatter to blame her for trying to break up the show's family. However, Karn did not seek alimony from Reynolds following their divorce. Judy Karn, an actress well known for her work in the 1960s and 1970s, had a life filled with passion and activism outside of her professional sphere. She was deeply committed to several causes, including animal rights and the fight against substance abuse. Karn's battle with substance abuse in her early life inspired her to become a prominent figure in the recovery community later on. She wrote about her experiences in her autobiography, laughing on the outside, crying on the inside, aiming to help others facing similar struggles. Karn also actively supported various rehabilitation centers and organizations dedicated to helping those battling addiction. Additionally, Judy Karn was a devoted animal lover and advocate. She involved herself with numerous animal welfare organizations, working to improve the lives of animals and spread awareness about their rights. Karn's compassion for animals extended beyond her personal interests, as she often used her platform to speak up for animals in need. Karn's personal values and interests, such as her compassion, resilience, and dedication, greatly informed her work as an actress. Her ability to connect with audiences and share her experiences through her art left a lasting impression on the industry. In summary, Judy Karn's life was not only defined by her successful acting career, but also by her dedication to various causes and her genuine care for others. Her commitment to improving the lives of those struggling with addiction and her devotion to animal welfare showcase her true character and her passion for making a difference in the world. Judy Karn, born Judith Yardley in Northampton, England, left school at 15 to pursue a career in show business. She started by working various jobs and joining an amateur dramatic company, which eventually led to her joining a repertory company by lying about her age. Karn's big break came when she won the lead role of Julie Willis in the sitcom Love on a Rooftop in 1966. She starred alongside Pete Duell, whom she had met during a one-episode stint on the Gidget TV series. The two actors later worked together again on Duell's Alias Smith and Jones TV series. Unfortunately, Duell's life ended in tragedy when he committed suicide. Karn's career in show business spanned over three decades, and she appeared in numerous TV shows and movies. However, she is perhaps best known for her work on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, where she popularized the phrase, Sock it to me. Despite her success, Karn struggled with personal demons and battled addiction for many years. She eventually moved back to her childhood home, Karn Lodge, in Chapel Brampton, Northamptonshire, where she focused on recovery and reconnecting with her roots. Karn's contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered, and her legacy lives on through her groundbreaking work and the memories she created for audiences around the world. Judy Karn was a well-known actress, famous for her work on the hit TV show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. She left a significant mark on the entertainment industry with her comedic timing and talent. Although she is no longer with us, her contributions continue to be appreciated and celebrated. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Karn would likely offer the following advice, never give up on your dreams, keep working hard, and always stay true to yourself. The entertainment industry can be tough, but with persistence and passion, you can achieve your goals. In terms of future contributions, it's essential to continue pushing boundaries and taking risks. The entertainment landscape is constantly evolving, and it's crucial to stay ahead of the curve and try new things. Whether it's through acting, writing, producing, or directing, there are countless ways to make your mark 
and leave a legacy within the industry. In conclusion, Judy Carnes' legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of hard work, determination, and creativity in the entertainment industry. Aspiring professionals can learn from her experiences and use her advice to achieve their own success. By staying true to yourself and taking risks, you can make a meaningful contribution to this vibrant and ever-changing field. In July 1969, during the peak of her laugh and fame, Judy Karn made an appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show, where she performed American Moon. Despite Sullivan's reputation for mispronouncing names, he introduced her as Judy Crane. Later, in the early 1970s, Judy's ex-husband, Burt Reynolds, invited her as his guest when he first guest hosted The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. This reunion took place six years after their divorce. When Disney's Bedknobs and Broomsticks was in production in 1971, Judy Carn was among the actresses considered for the lead role of Eglantine Price. Although she didn't secure the part, her rendition of the film's song Substitutory Locomotion was included on a Disneyland LP record featuring cover versions of the movie's tunes. Judy Carn was a beloved actress known for her work in television and film. She began her career in the 1950s and, and quickly made a name for herself as a talented comedian. Karn's innovative approach to comedy and willingness to take risks helped to break down barriers for women in the industry. One of Karn's most memorable roles was on the groundbreaking sketch comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, where she popularized the catchphrase socket to me. Her comedic timing and physical comedy skills made her a standout on the show and endeared her to audiences. Despite facing personal and professional challenges throughout her career, Karn persevered and continued to work in the entertainment industry. Her passion for acting and comedy never wavered, and she remained a respected and admired figure in the industry until her passing in 2015. Karn's impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her innovative approach to comedy and her willingness to take risks continue to inspire new generations of performers. Her enduring legacy serves as a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can make their mark on the world. In 1986, Judy Carn's husband, John Redway, established Stalwart Productions. Carn, a renowned actress, was known for her work in television. She had three significant roles in the popular series Coronation Street. Her performances were a testament to her acting prowess and left a lasting impact on audiences. Despite the challenges she faced in her career, Karn's contributions to the television landscape were enduring and remarkable. She left a legacy that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Judy Karn faced significant challenges in her personal life, including struggles with substance abuse and three failed marriages. However, one particularly tragic fact is that she was a victim of spousal abuse. Her second husband, Burt Reynolds, admitted in his autobiography that he had physically abused Karn during their marriage, which lasted from 1963 to 1965. This revelation sheds light on the unfortunate circumstances that Karn had to endure, adding a sad note to her life story. Despite these challenges, Karn continued to work in the entertainment industry and will always be remembered for her contributions to comedy and television. We'd love to hear your memories and opinions about the talented actress Judy Carn and her work. What made her performances so special to you? What do you think is her lasting impact on the entertainment industry? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's celebrate the lives and careers of the creative individuals who have shaped entertainment into what it is today. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. And if you want more articles celebrating the legends of entertainment, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more informative and engaging content for you to enjoy. Thank you.